But first, we are improved today with one steel beam that you can't stop the pace of innovation. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Stephen Moore. And I'm Michelle Chavez. Form Energy celebrated as a final piece of steel was raised into place at its future Iron Air battery plant. 7 News reporter Colin Bruce was there to see how the renewable energy project is approaching its completion. Even nine months after they broke ground, Form Energy has lifted the final steel beam into place here at its factory, completing the framework for a new era in Weirton manufacturing. The sun shone through the completed structure of Form Factory one Thursday as a major milestone was locked into place. The final beam was topped off by U.S. and West Virginia flags and an evergreen and signed by the construction crew before a crane raised it high into the air. The completion of the building's frame marked a stunning work turnaround at a site still in the planning stages last spring. When other sites were shutting down when it was cold, we, would be, we were able to get more people to work here because we wanted to keep going. It's part of a project that itself has only spent a short time in the Mountain State spotlight. On December 22, 2022, Governor Jim Justice announced that Form Energy was bringing its manufacturing plant to Weirton, with 750 full-time jobs arriving with it. The legislature then quickly approved $105 million in state funding. Ground was first broken at the former Weirton Steel Mill on May 26, 2023, with visits from Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm and Senator Joe Manchin. Form's first hiring fair followed last month, and today more than 90% of the steel has been put up. President Ted Wiley calls it an only in West Virginia type of timeline. You know, some people can take seven, seven months just to get a permit. Uh, and here, you know, we have the last beam going up seven months after the groundbreaking. While you can see the roof and walls are still missing from this end of the building, the other side is a portion that is already sealed off and ready to go on the inside. The company also has a research and development facility nearby in 84, Pennsylvania, where manufacturing methods are being perfected for large-scale use here before the year ends. At the end of the day, for us, what it means is uh, bringing manufacturing back to Wharton. The next step is moving in the heavy machinery, which they plan to do within a few weeks. And not long after that, the employees will have their first day of work. Reporting in Weirton, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thanks, Colin. West Virginia Governor.